Uh, hello and welcome back to my channel. I want to say a big shout out to my 60 subscribers. That means we're well on our way to my goal of 65 subscribers. So let's get after it this video. Uh, in this recipe, I'm going to be using shimeji mushrooms and spinach. Shimeji mushrooms are an Asian mushroom that grows in little bunches or clusters. Uh, they're also called beach mushrooms. You can find them at a lot of Asian markets, and I've seen them at Whole Foods too, or any other kind of specialty grocery store that has a pretty extensive uh, selection of fresh produce. Uh, they have a really great flavor and texture, uh, plus they just look so beautiful on a pizza. So we'll be topping this also with some blanched spinach, some mozzarella cheese, and for the toss we'll be using a tomato sauce. Uh, so here's a quick link to see the video for my tomato sauce recipe. And that adds some acidity and just kind of bounces out the flavors. Uh, for this recipe we'll be needing one dough ball, about 225 grams, 4 ounces of shimeji mushrooms, 5 ounces of baby spinach, and mozzarella cheese. So the first thing we're going to prep is the mushrooms. Uh, to prep these, we're going to cut the group root down at the base and discard that, and then we can pull apart all of the mushrooms really easily and toss them into a hot pan. We'll saute these over low to medium heat with a little bit of oil, or even better, around a tablespoon of butter. Season with salt as you go, um, and then saute the mushrooms for around, I'd say, seven to eight minutes until they're evenly browned, and then you can set them aside to cool. Now we'll use that same pan and add a splash of water, around a quarter of a cup, and toss in the spinach and cover it with the lid. That will let the spinach blanch. The goal is to cook it to soften the leaves, but to do as little cooking as possible so they don't become over soft and, and mushy. Uh, overcooked spinach can be mushy, it kind of loses its flavor and brightness, uh, so pull it off after it's just started to wilt and then run it under cool water to stop that cooling, cooking process. Next, we're gonna squeeze out as much of the water as possible for the spinach. So just take that all up in your hand and just squeeze out and wring out that water. Uh, having a lot of very wet toppings is gonna make your pizza soggy and it's not gonna cook and crisp as well. So get out as much of that water as you can. Uh, and then if you're using larger spinach leaf, like I use baby spinach, which I just got uh, in the bags for like salads and things like that. But if you add a bunch of spinach, you might want to give that a rough chop just so you don't have these long stringy leaves of spinach that you're going to have to chew and bite through on the pizza. Next, I'll dress the spinach with a little salt and some toasted sesame oil. Now, if you need to prep your tomato sauce, uh, just follow this link right here and you can see my tomato sauce recipe and it's very simple and only has two ingredients. So that's it for ingredient prep and now you can go ahead and start stretching your dough. If you want to check out my video on how to get the most from store-bought dough, uh, click for this video here. So to top the pizza, first we'll start with some sauce, then the spinach, then the mushrooms, and then lastly the mozzarella cheese. So that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, I'm going to be using an uni multi-fuel in this video for cooking it. Uh, I like to use a combination of real wood chunks and charcoal, lump charcoal. So try out this recipe, let me know if you like it, and uh, hopefully I'll be putting out another video in another couple weeks.